Got all my rims and ties, I'm gone since the second. I got penitentiary chances. How about the body of your nigga? I'm killing shit like a Marilyn Manson. I get the ransom. I took a bitch from a nigga. Got a figure that's random. Overlook, now I'm overbooked. This shit full of standing. Flowing with now, stacking chips and these diamonds dancing. Fumble did the pick that back up, but now I'm demanding. Paper, not a peep, but I need a whole day that's manage. Take or give it to me, I flip it into a man. I'm damaged. From hypertension, but nobody mentioned how I did it when I came home. I put my hands in my pocket, I went and got it. Taking out like a rocket, you niggas singing all the same song. I'm James Bond top. Secret, I need to double up and repeat it every season. We getting cake, nigga. Can give a fuck about a fake nigga. Currently receiving currency at 50 stake. I'm at your wake, nigga. LeBron this episode is brought to you by Dallas Hemco, home of the Infused Dinner. Hold on, so for the people who don't know you, please introduce yourself. My name is Omar Omar. I own Omar Rims and Tires. I've been in this business since 2005. I'm in there 18 years of my life. And how long have you, where are you from, by the way? I am Kurdish. I'm from northern Iraq. I born in, in Kurdistan, northern okay. Iraq. Okay, how did you get in the tire rim industry? How did I get it? And yeah. man, it's a long story, bro. I went, uh, I went to a rim shop in 2003, in like, end of 2003, and I, I got some tires, I buy it from my Lexus. Yeah. So the gentleman was there, and he was from the East, and he asked me, where are you from? I said, I'm Kurdish, from Northern Iraq. And then he said, man, you wanna work for me? I said, nah. And I, back then I used to have two jobs. Okay. I used to work at Tom Tom, Tom and Walmart. Okay, hustle. So, hustle, you always been a hustler, I see. Oh yeah, from day one I've been a hustler, bro. Yeah. From day one I always been a leader. I never wanna be a follower, bro. Yeah. I just wanna be top of my shit and be an independent man. Don't ask nobody for nothing in my life. Yeah. I just want to be my own man show, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and how did you find out that the rim attire business was profitable and lucrative? Man, like in a way to make be my future, my yeah. lifestyle? Yeah. Be honest with you, bro, whenever I, uh, I had my two jobs and I thought I was making money and I was just like a little, in a little box, I didn't want to come out from that little box, you know what I'm saying? I just yeah. wanted to like, I thought I was making money, have a nice car, I was young. And then when the man asked me for a job, I, I, I declined. I said, no, I don't want to work for you. And then a week later, I went back to him. I asked him, hey, bro, I'm back. Uh, I want a job. And he hired me. When I asked him how much money you make a month, he told me. That, uh, and back then, in 2003, four, bro, $10,000 was a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. You know, so even yeah. right now, it's a lot of money. Yeah. But back then, it was a lot. Yeah. And... I take a job, I work seven days a week, and I said, man, shit, this is gonna be my role, bro. I'm not gonna give up, I'm gonna continue what I'm doing, just hustle, and it brought me all the way to right here, bro. So, so I, I don't have to ask you this question. You do believe in being a worker before you become a boss, because in order to be a boss, you have to learn the business in order to understand what it takes to be a boss. Now, at first, you don't wanna work for him, right? I didn't want to work for him. But in order to learn the, the game, you had to go work for him. Oh uh, yeah, uh, to me, for me to learn this game, I have to go play it before I before I go come in to play it. Most definitely. You know what I'm saying? And I, like, it's like it's like looking at a coach of a basketball or football. Okay. You have to know about football to be a coach. Most definitely. You know what I'm saying? Basketball, same way to, to know the player. Yeah. Player, you know. To, for me, I have to go work for him, learn the game, take everything. I learn everything from A to Z. Yeah. I have to know how to change tires, mount rims, take it off, talk to customers, be a leader of everything, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And some people just look at it as an easy thing. Yeah. Some people, they, they look at me and all others, they be like, man, that's easy, bro, I can't do it, anybody can do it. I'm like, bro, yeah. you have to put hours in there, days, minutes, seconds, everything, bro. It's, it takes a lot of time, bro, but it's, yeah. it's worth it, and it's working for me. I make it look easy, but it's not easy, bro. You make it look easy, but it's not easy. Oh, no. Hell no, bro. Most not definitely. And, and, when, and when did you know in your career as a, as a boss that you are today that this was it? This was the one? Because of, I'm going to be real with you. When I was younger, I wanted to play football. As I got older, I realized football wasn't going to be the thing that got me what I wanted. And then I started doing other things, and now I'm doing something else, and I'm realizing what I'm going to have to do in order to see my nice fortune or whatever. When did you realize what you were doing was gonna pay off and be able to pay dividends for not only yourself, but your family? I believe in myself, bro. Yeah. I believe in myself and the opportunity was there and I never saw a bigger rim shop like mine in 
not in Texas, uh, in America, period. Yeah. Uh, every ship, uh, every uh, every rim shop you go to, they have little bitty rims in stocks. Uh, I'm like, man, I want to be known and have everything in stock. Uh, that was always my gold mine, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going for it. I want everything in stock, ready to go. Uh, like, just ship everything same day, not just having it. And me, to be where I'm at, I have to save my money first. Okay. To buy properties, take over the ta- or take over the table. Yeah. I want to sit. I want to be the leader on the table. Just own it and sit there yeah. and run it. And I know from day one, bro. I, I believe in myself. I was gonna make it. Yeah. But the only thing was, bro, I had to be consistent. Do something over and over and over. Most definitely. It's, it's not a motivation to me. Is when people believe like, man as a motivation. It's not a motivation. Motivation, me looking at somebody like, man, that guy over there, he expired me. No, yeah. but you have to have a, you have to go get it every day, do the same thing over and over. That's the, thing, the, the difference between motivation or consistent, you know what I'm saying? Consistent. Repetition. Is yeah. when, you, when you win all day, every day, bro. Most def- and what's next for Omar? What is next for Omar, man? Be honest, you just keep buying lands, okay. keep investing in real estate, Okay. And I already, I already done everything, bro. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm sad, bro. I'm, yeah. I'm good. I'm blessed. Thank God for everything. And but do I like to make more money? Yes. But as I'm shooting for more higher, not really. I don't. I'm enjoying everything I have, bro. Okay. Life is too short, brother. And where can we find you on social media? Man, you can follow me on Omar Revs and Tires, or Omar 1984. You can come to our shop, 3760 South Bucking in Dallas, Texas. We have everything in stock. And holler us if you need anything from us. And if you had 60 seconds to talk to anybody, dead or alive, who would it be and what would the conversation consist of? 60 seconds to talk to anybody? Dead or alive, who would it be and what would you speak to them about? Man, to be honest with you, if it's any, uh, number one, it would be Prophet Muhammad, peace be on him. Okay. And number two, my father and my mother. And what would you talk to them about? And how badass I am. And, yeah. and I dominated everything I did in life. And yeah. bring in front of me and I just dominated it. Okay. In, in people's eyes, they believe, what are you talking about? I mean, my world and what I did and cons- consistent what I did, my work, my, my, I, I win everything I do, bro. Yeah. I'm not, a, I'm not a loser and I don't lose and I never done it. And I never will. I I don't give up. I keep going, bro. Most definitely.